economics, I would like to call on our next technical speaker. He is an experienced mechanical engineer who specializes in engineering economics, writing papers, technical inspections, public speaking, stock market trading, production management, product planning, and inventory control, and warehouse management. He earned his degree in Master's in Public Administration from Polytechnic University of the Philippines as a Department of Energy Scholar and graduated from the Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering from the La Salle University, Manila. He is also the current Science Research Specialist of the Natural Gas Management Division, Oil Industry Management Bureau of Department of Energy. Without further ado, please join me in giving a warm welcome to our speaker, Engineer Jessel M. Salvo. Okay, so magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. Good afternoon to everyone, my fellow engineers around the world. So it's a great honor and privilege to be invited here. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to extend my uh, sincere thanks to Engineer Edwin Delgado, who for the second time uh, invited us to be one of the guest speakers uh, for this annual convention. So actually for the next 15 to 20 minutes, I'll be discussing, it's just the basics of natural gas for, so for many of you, I think this will be just like a reviewer. So actually we used to do this as part of our mandate. Uh, part of our mandate is promoting the use of natural gas. So, so if there are opportunities to do public speaking engagements to promote natural gas, so this is one of them. This is one of the, uh, the avenues, okay? So if you have questions later on, uh, please let me finish the discussion first. You can type the questions in the chat box later, okay? Uh, so this, will, this uh, for most of us, this will be just like a reviewer. Um, okay, so I'll just share my screen. Just give me a few seconds, please. Yeah. Share screen. Okay. Okay. Can you see the screen? Yes, sir. Can you see the screen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, okay, okay. So this is just 34 slides, but I'll try to finish it 20 minutes long, okay? Yeah, all no, right, so here we go. Okay, I'm uh, again, I'm Mr. Jesu Lim Salvo. I'm a senior science research specialist po dito sa Department of Energy, Natural Gas Management Division. Actually, Ma'am Laura Sagin is my boss uh, here at the office, okay? So my presentation will be just be uh, divided into around six parts. So I'm in the parts lang po ito. So first part is I'll be discussing what is the basics of natural gas? What is it? Ano ba yan? Uh, what are the uses of natural gas? Uh, how do we transport and store natural gas? Um, to make it more uh, interesting, uh, we'll be doing a comparison that between natural gas versus LPG para po maging interesting ating discussion. And I'll be doing a short uh, presentation on economics para po maging interesting lalo ating discussion. And I'll just do a brief uh, brush up on taxation purposes. Okay. So six parts in 20 to 25 minutes. Okay. So ano po ba yung natural gas? What is natural gas? So basically, this is just methane. So this is one of the three major types of fossil fuels. So sinasabi po natin yung the solid type of fossil fuel is coal. Yung liquid type is oil, the crude oil that we know, uh, then the gaseous part is natural gas. As I said this is basically methane. Natural gas uh, is the dominantly methane, which is CH4, which is the simplest hydrocarbon. Kaya lang pag minayin, uh, once it is mined under earth, may mga sumasamo po dyan, minsan mga inert elements, minsan may kasamang carbon dioxide, may kasamang nitrogen, may hydro hydrogen sulfide, and ethane propane butane. Okay? So among the fossil fuels, it's the cleanest, ito yung safest, and it's the most useful or versatile among the three fossil fuels, which we'll discuss later. And it has been dubbed as a fuel of the future among uh, energy circles. So una po sa lahat, uh, again, I'm saying that natural gas, it is methane, CH4. So papakita ko lang po yung diagram dito. So methane, CH4, most of the gas wells that are uh, drilled, composed of 70 to 90% uh, methane content. There are some gas wells in Alaska which have methane contents as much as 99%. Then yung mga 5 to 15% nito is 
around ethane. Yung pong propane and butane, this is what we know as LPG. So this is around 5% more or less, give or take. And then yung balance nga sinasabi natin, ito yung minsan may sumasamang carbon dioxide, nitrogen, hydrogen sulfide, so on and so forth. Okay? So yung natural gas or methane in its natural state, ito po ay colorless. Siyempre, wala siyang color. Ang uh, important uh, characteristic niya is hindi siya corrosive, hindi siya toxic, and it is lighter than air. Yan po. So ito lang, uh, just a brief uh, review ng fire triangle natin. So pag, uh, in order to produce fire, alam po natin that we need fuel, we need oxygen, and we need heat in order to produce uh, fire. So mamaya we will discuss bakit uh, kailangan to, Okay. Nag-freeze po ang aking screen. Ayan, okay. Sorry po. Okay, natural gas. First of all, uh, one of these attributes is in terms of safety. Is one the, it's the safest fuel. Bakit? Kasi una sa lahat, yung flammability limit niya is very limited to 5 to 15%. When we say flammability limit, yung mixture air, air vapor mixture niya is... Uh, ito po yung mixture na pwede siya mag-combust. So yung methane po, it's 5 to 15%. So ibig sabihin, if your methane content, content dun sa air fuel mixture mo is more than 15%, your mixture will not burn. If your methane content is less than 5%, your air fuel mixture will not burn. So yun lang po ibig sabihin yan. Okay? Very limited siya, 5 to 15%. So ito lang po is uh, for uh, illustration purposes for ethylene oxide. Uh, it's flammable in all concentrations. Yung sinabi po natin kanina, methane, kailangan 5 to 15% yung kanyang uh, concentration sa air fuel mixture to be flammable. And carbon monoxide, it's 10 to 80%. Okay. Ito po. Yung second characteristic, yeah, so excuse me. <clears throat> yung second characteristic po ng natural gas, yung ignition point niya mataas. So we know yung ignition point po, it's the temperature at which your air, air vapor mixture will ignite. Now, wala kang spark plug, so wala kang sort of, source, of, sort of, uh, source of spark. So medyo mataas yan, 537. If you compare it to oil, coal, and LPG, uh, medyo mataas siya. Okay? So given these two characteristics, medyo mahirap siyang sunugin because your flammability limit, it's 5 to 15% lang, tapos yung... Uh, ignition point mo medyo mataas. Okay? So this is just for illustration purposes. Uh, uh, we know that water freezes at 0 degrees Celsius. It boils at 100. Yung pong gold, it melts at 1,000 degrees Celsius. Uh, propane condenses to liquid, which is yung LPG, condenses to negative at negative 40 degrees Celsius. Ethane, which is the second simplest hydrocarbon, uh, condenses at negative 90, 90 degrees Celsius. Yung pong natural gas or methane, it liquefies or condenses to liquid form at negative 162 degrees Celsius. So we will explain the significance of this temperature later in the discussion point. And we all know yung two, negative 273 degrees Celsius, this is absolute zero or what we call zero degrees Kelvin po in physics. Okay. <clears throat> So, pangalaw pong attribute, aside from safety, it's uh, the cleanest fossil fuels, okay? So, ito po, basic review lang ng chemistry. We know that uh, natural gas is CH4, methane, sinabi natin kanina. We need fuel. We also need air. So, alam po natin, ang air is 79% uh, nitrogen, 20 to 21% oxygen. So, yung pong oxygen component ng air, yan ang nagre-react sa fuel mo in order to produce combustion. <clears throat> so, kana, nakita na natin kanina yung fire triangle. So, we have fuel, we have air. Ang kulang na lang po ay igniter. So, you take note that the byproduct is CO2, which is carbon dioxide. Oh, no. Yes, it is a greenhouse gas. But take note that CO2 is a naturally occurring greenhouse gas. It has been existence in nature. Uh, galing po yan sa hininga natin, sa hininga ng tao, hininga ng mga hayop. But in order to reverse the effect of carbon dioxide, all you have to do is uh, plant more trees. Basically, through photos, photosynthesis, yung carbon dioxide, we're able to convert it back to oxygen. So reversible process siya, okay? And many people make a mistake when they see this formula. So they say, I 
H2O tubig. So actually, this is water vapor or steam. So, so if you'll see, yung byproduct niya, it's carbon dioxide and H2O. So wala siyang harmful byproduct elements. So unlike yung other fossil fuels, katulad nito, matataas po yung mga oxides niya, yung nitrogen and sulfur particular oxides, okay, for illustration purposes. <clears throat> Yeah. So this is just for comparison again. So uh, as you go up the high, uh, the carbon chain, alam po natin na as we have more carbons, we, as you go further up the carbon chain, the more carbons you have, the more your pollution contribution to the environment. So yung natural gas po is C1, <clears throat> one carbon. So yung gasoline is CA to C11, kerosene is C12 to C15, diesel is further up here, Yung, oil, yung uh, coal is nasa taas pa siya ng carbon chain, okay? Uh, for illustration purposes, yeah. <clears throat> so yung third aspect po ng natural gas characteristic, it's yung heating value niya. So it has a very high heating value compared to all the fossil fuels. If you will refer to engineering handbooks, yung pong value ng uh, heating value niya is higher compared to gasoline, diesel, or coal. Um, it would be unfair to compare the, the heating value of these fuels on a volume basis. Of course, uh, containing one barrel of oil cannot be comparable to one barrel of gas of natural gas because you have more mass inside the barrel. So to make them apple to apple comparison, you have to compare them on a mass basis or per pound or per kilo. So yung natural gas, according to uh, engineering tables, nasa 54 kilojoules in a gram or uh, uh, British thermal British units, it's 23,000 BTUs per pound compared to the others. Okay. Later on, may significance po yan, uh, uh, yung matas na heating value. Okay. Ito, dahil mataas yung heating value niya, because it has a high heating value, uh, you can gain higher thermal efficiency. So, alam na po natin kasi sa mga ICE, internal combustion engines. So yung thermal efficiency niya is around 30, 33, 35. Minsan nga may nakikita kong 45. But with natural gas, we can realize a thermal efficiency of as high as 60, which, which we will explain later on, okay? Yeah, so just for illustration purposes. Ito na po, I'm on the second part of my presentation. So what are the uses of this natural gas? First of all, it's for power generation, dito po sa Philippines, the biggest application of natural gas is uh, yung pong 3,200 megawatts na natural gas power plants that we have here on the Luzon grid. So I think I may need to do a little explanation here. Uh, <clears throat> kaya mataas yung thermal efficiency niya is because dun sa mga combined cycles as we know of, a combined cycle is composed of a Brayton cycle and a Rankine cycle. So Reviewer lang po yung Brayton cycle, this is the air cycle, wherein we have air and some sort of fuel as your uh, uh, carrier ng fuel. So dito sa Brayton cycle ito, dito yung you have an intake of air here, then you have gas as your fuel here. So when it produces work, it combust, it turns this turbine here. The good thing about this, yung sinabi natin kanina, <clears throat> yung it has a high heating value. The heating value or the amount of heat is still enough so that yung exhaust gas from the turbine here still has enough amount of heat or energy to produce work to run this Rankin cycle. See? So, so most sa mga ICE, di ba, alam natin yan. So yung exhaust gas dito, Tapo na yan eh. It's, uh, wala, nang, wala, wala ka na makukuha ang energy. But here, since mataas yung heating value niya, from here, pag dati ng exhaust dito, this still has <clears throat> sufficient energy to convert water to steam to run your ranking cycle here. So instead of throwing away energy, you're still able to use it to, pro uh, to produce work to run another turbine here, steam. Kaya po mataas yung thermal efficiency niya. Yun po yung explanation doon. Okay? <clears throat> Yan. Okay. Another application, ito po yung sa power generation. Yung sa, hindi lang sa mga malalaking power plant. 
you can use it in small scale independent power generation plants katulad po nung nasa yung ginagamit ng Desco sa Cebu yan so yung Libertad so ito po yung Genbacker which is one of the sponsors ng PSM ito so <clears throat> Uh, meron sila nito sa Cebu nung kaya lang naubos na yung gas deposit ng power plant doon yan okay so versatile siya pwede siya sa malakihan depende sa sa size ng amount of gas mo so pwede siyang sa maliitan so can be used for big power plants you can use it for small small power plants okay another application is for heating application so <clears throat> so we can use this for burners sa mga furnace sa mga heat or industrial equipment. Instead of using LPG for mga cooking, ganyan, sa factories, you can use natural gas. Mas mura siya. Mamaya, we'll discuss it later. <coughs> so, pwede rin po siya sa dito, sa, uh, using it for boiler. So, kasi yung mga boiler natin, alam natin na uh, pag nililinis yan, maraming carbon residue. Unlike if you're using natural gas. Uh, for boiler applications, wala ka masyadong lilinisin because we don't have a carbon residue as we have explained late, earlier in the formula. Okay? So pwede po siya dyan sa industrial heating applications. Yeah. <clears throat> Another application, ito po, it's residential, cooking, uh, residential he heating or cooking. So in many countries around the world, they use natural gas for residential cooking purposes. So unlike in the Philippines, we use LPG. So we use LPG for cooking our food sa bahay. But if you look at our neighbors around ASEAN, like Indonesia, uh, Malaysia, Brunei, Thailand, just go around you, Singapore, Hong Kong, China, Japan, Korea. <laughs> or if you go to the Middle East, or if you go to uh, the North Americas, like Canada, US, or if you go to Europe, Russia, most of these countries, they use natural gas for residential cooking. So they have a natural gas uh, supplier para may merong may franchise doon that that produce, uh, uh, provides natural gas to them, okay? Yan. Another application is yung transport, pwede siyang gamitin fuel. So if you have buses that are designed to run on natural gas, pwede siya. So we used to have this project dito sa South Superhighway where these buses are CNG buses that run on compressed natural gas or CNG, okay? <clears throat> so, possible po siya. Yeah. So, another application. Kaya lang dito po, it, this is a non-energy use. Ito po district cooling. So, alam po natin kanina, as we said earlier, um, yung liquid natural gas or LNG, it's negative 162 degrees Celsius. So, napakalamig po nito. You can use this for refrigeration purposes. So let's say in Japan, uh, if you have an LNG facility near the sea, pwede mong gamitin yung LNG to cool down yung mga pa pa fishes, yung mga isda na nahuli nyo uh, for refrigeration purposes. Something like that. So, But it's non-energy use. Okay. Another non-energy use, which we will not uh, dwell in further, is yung gas to new energy technology. Pwede siyang gamit, i-convert uh, for to convert them to ammonia or urea or fertilizer use. Yeah. So hindi na po natin masyadong discuss yan. Okay, dimethyl ether. Okay, I'm, I'm in the third part of my discussion na po. So how do we trans, uh, transport or store natural gas? So there are basically three ways that we transfer natural gas. Una po, it's by pipe. Pangalawa is by truck, so compressed na, uh, CNG. And a third way is through ships uh, by liquefying them. So pipe, trucks, or ships. So sa pipe, napakita ko lang po yung mga drawing. So when we say pipe, ito po yung malalapit lang. Let's say if uh, your gas utility is in the area, so these gas utilities, uh, when they supply to their commercial, industrial, or residential uh, customers, they use pipelines, similar to what uh, Manila Water is doing, what Manila this Water doing. So yung private pipes, these are pipes nasa taas, overhead, pag nasa loob ng facility for maintenance. Kaya lang, pag, syempre, pag pinadaan natin sa lupa yan or in a public places, you have to uh, bury these public uh, pipelines for safety purposes. Okay? So, dapat nasa ilalim ng lupa yan. yan. So next is another method, uh, way of transferring or storing natural gas is through CNG. 
let's say your neighborhood, merong mga areas sa Japan, for example, na wala sa uh, pipeline grid network. So instead of using pipes, they use CNG trucks to supply natural, their natural gas supply. So sa CNG, imagine mo po yung gas is compressed at 3,000 to 4,000 PSI. So in cylindrical or spherical containers. So if you take note, yung pong ating mga gulong, yung sa ating wheels, we have 30 PSI sa pressure ng gulong. This one is 3,000 to 4,000. So you can imagine the amount of pressure. So the volume here is reduced to one is to 100, which means 100 cubic meters of natural gas is stored in one cubic meter. So yun po ibig sabihin niya. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yung third is through ships. So we said earlier, you can transfer, store natural gas through pipelines. You can use CNG trucks. Pangatlo po is through ships. Ito po yung principle ng cryogenic cooling. So when we cool natural gas to negative 162 degrees Celsius, we are able to compress its volume to 600 times smaller. So what, 600 cubic meters na ipagtakasya natin sa isang cubic meter for ease of transport, especially if you're transferring natural gas from one country to another, let's say from Qatar to Japan, of course, you have to go uh, ka ng barko. So, so the purpose of liquefied natural gas, liquefying it is for transport purposes. So yan lang po ang purpose niyang LNG, okay? <clears throat> Malapit na po tayo. <clears throat> So let's uh, make the discussion a little bit interesting. So let's do a little comparison, uh, natural gas versus LPG. So what's the difference between the two? Basically, pareho lang po yan. Uh, LNG or uh, this is methane, which is the simplest hydrocarbon. Yung LPG na ginagamit natin, this is, these are also hydrocarbons, which are propane, C3H8, and butane, which is C4H10. So both of them can be used for heating purposes. So what's the big difference between the two? So may dalawa pong difference yan. Okay? Una po sa lahat, <clears throat> the big difference between these two is yan po. In terms of mass or density, <clears throat> if you'll take note, pure methane, uh, the density of pure methane is 0.666 kilograms per cubic meter. That's pure methane. So may, kung may mga halu-halu yan, yung lean or rich, it rounds, it's around 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8. Okay. So ano ibig sabihin nun? Take note that the density of standard air is 1.24 kilograms per cubic meter. <clears throat> so ibig sabihin, natural gas is lighter than air. So mamaya may significance po yan. If you take note at this diagram, yung LPG... <clears throat> The density of LPG is around 2 to 2.5, 2.6. That means LPG or uh, liquefied petroleum gasoline, which is uh, propane and butane, it is heavier than air. <clears throat> ano po significance dito? First of all, for safety purpose. So pag nagkaroon po tayo ng leak, they were using uh, LPG sa bahay and we have a leak. And uh, what would be the tendency of LPG? Halma, nagkaroon ng leak sa bahay. The tendency of LPG would be that LPG would tend to remain at the bottom part of our house. So, nandiyan po yan sa bandang sahig. Because it is heavier than air. <clears throat> so, you cannot dissipate LPG by simply opening your windows up here because LPG is heavier. LPG is located down here at the floor. Okay? So, medyo mahirap siyang i-dissipate. Right? So, uh, unlike yung natural gas, in its form, which is lighter than air, pag nagkaroon ka ng leak, all you have to do is open the window, and since it is lighter than standard air, it will naturally dissipate. Yeah. So mas madali siyang i-dissipate kasi mas malit ang density po niya. So yan ang one of the safety aspects bakit uh, countries are using uh, natural gas for cooking purposes. So mamaya, meron pang isang reason. Yan, okay? <clears throat> so ito lang po. Uh, as I've shown earlier, mas matas yung uh, energy content ng natural gas at yung density niya ay mas magaang siya than standard air. Right. <clears throat> Ito na po. I'm almost 
done with my presentation. So uh, we made a simulation on or comparison of prices versus natural gas versus LPG. Meron pong rule of thumb lagi rito. Yan. So just to arouse your interest. Yan. So nung 2020, there's a rule of thumb for pricing ng uh, LPG versus LNG. It's only around one third the price. So one half to one third. So let's say if... Uh, uh, I will not mention the name of the company. See, com itong company to will be importing natural uh, LPG at a price of $1,200 per metric ton. If they will import natural gas, it's just $400. Yeah. So, ang rule of thumb lagi. It's always cheaper by one half to one third. Yeah. Ito po, to make our in, uh, discussion more interesting. <clears throat> We all pay electricity. Uh, we all pay electric bills. So pakita ko lang po yung uh, ito. So if this bar represents yung pong ating total electricity cost or the amount of uh, money that we pay for our electric bills, kalahati po niyan. And half of that is yan, generation cost. So 50% so of our electric, uh, electricity is generation cost. So if you look at the generation cost further, 60 to 80 percent punyan I fuel cost. So 60 to 80 percent. So what does this mean? So ibig sabihin po nito, if we can lower the cost of fuel, we can significantly reduce the cost of our total electricity. Okay? So yung po ibig sabihin niyan. Okay? So 50 percent generation cost. Meron po tayong Yan, 10% sa transmission cost sa binabayaran natin. Yung pong 20%, this is what we call the distribution cost, yung binabayad natin sa Miralco or your utility, utility companies. Now, you try to guess ano itong nandito. Okay? You can have a wild guess, but I'll uh, tell it to you anyway. Ito. ito po yung mga system losses. Yeah. So yung mga charges, yung environmental charges, yung mga, yung mga hindi masingil. Ayan, yan yan po yun system loss, so on and so forth. So uh, if you want, you can explore the Miralco website. They'll give it to you in numbers. But if you break it down, yan po ang lalabas. Yan. Uh, maganda pong FYI yan, right? <clears throat> Ito na po. Uh, we did a simulation before. Para yung, this is in connection with the earlier graph. If you know, if we had uh, imported LNG in place uh, as a simulation, Nung April 2018, we could have just paid yung sa generation na yung fuel cost, sa generation cost, which is 60 to 80 percent of the 50. Dapat mga nasa 3 pesos lang yun. Uh, and nung pandemic bumagsak na husto, sana piso lang yan. 1, 1 peso 45 centavos per kilowatt hour. All right? So, ano po ibig sabihin nito? Uh, during the time that uh, LNG was very cheap, we could have saved a lot of electricity. I know that right now there is uh, meron pong volatility sa ating market. We all know that oil prices and gasoline prices are going up because it's winter. So tumataas po yung demand sa na northern states, sa, mga, sa European countries. But take note, yung pong volatility of prices, this only affects spot pricing. So magkaiba po yung spot price, magkaiba yung contract pricing. Okay? So yung mga bibili lang ngayon na oil or gas, if you buy it right now, if you don't have any long-term contract, mahal ang bili mo. Siyempre. So what countries do, like Japan, they have long-term contracts, at least five years, para whatever happens to the market, nag-volatile man yan, tumaas yan, they still pay a small amount dun sa kanilang uh, purchases because they have a contract price. Yan. So uh, for FYI lang po yan, right? <clears throat> so another simulation po. So hindi natin pwede compare kasi yung uh, one liter of diesel, one liter of gasoline, at one liter of nut gas kasi hindi po comparable yung mass content niya. So this is just a simulation. So noong June 2020 uh, levels, if we had uh, natural gas as an alternate fuel na available, it could have been around 9, 10 pesos per, per kilo kasi mas maganda kung per mass ang comparison. Diesel is around 46, gasoline 68. So what, uh, what am I pointing here? As a rule of thumb, natural gas is always cheaper than solid fuel or liquid fuel, oil or coal. Yeah. So rule of thumb po yan. 
Okay, I'm almost uh, done with my uh, slide. So this is just for FYI. So based on the Bureau of Customs, BIR, uh, wala po tayong customs duty at excise tax when in, in case we're going to import natural gas, but yung value-added tax kaila, uh, meron po lagi yan. All right. Ayan. So ito na po. So well, why are we using that? Uh, why, why are we promoting natural gas? Una po sa lahat, sabi natin, it is safe. Uh, yung safety, uh, yung terms of efficiency, kasi mataas yung thermal efficiency niya. Malini siya, it is clean among the fossil fuels. It is versatile kasi marami siyang use. It has a lot of uses from power to industrial to commercial to transport to residential. And as a rule of thumb, it is always cheaper than liquid oil or solid coal. Yeah, po. Yeah. <clears throat> so this is the end of my discussion. So if you have further questions, uh, you can send us an email or drop us a line sa phone or uh, you can ask my boss, uh, yung si Ma'am Lau po. Okay, I think I'm done. Thank you very much, Yvonne, and uh, I'll be turning it back to you. Salamat po. Yes, thank you very much, Sir Jessel. That was a very informative presentation and also with your effective visuals. Moving ahead with our question and answer, let me call on the presence of the Technical Division Chairman for Environmental Engineering, Engineer Alberto C. Regla Jr., and once again, the 2022 Technical Division Chairman for Power and Energy, Engineer Raniel Atchenza. Good afternoon again, everyone. Uh, thank you for that uh, wonderful presentation of Natural Gas 101. In light of those uh, information, uh, we, we know that the natural gas is a good gas over all the other gas and will be one of the gases that will help us to reduce the uh, carbon footprints. Uh, probably one of the question that we have now is uh, since we know that natural gas mm. has its own uh, uh, numerous use and hope uh, one of the good efficient fuel to be used and also a clean clean gas fuel. Uh, is there any plan for the government to use this as a source of fuel for the residential and commercial or are there infrastructure that the uh, government is planning to uh, utilize this as a clean fuel for this commercial and residential purposes? Mm. Okay, magandang tanong po yan. I always get that question whenever we conduct IECs or information education campaigns. Yes, uh, the reason why we are promoting the use of natural gas, of course, is to uh, attract investments. Of course, uh, may plano po talaga. But of course, we'll have to concentrate first on uh, bridging the would-be gap pag nawala na po yung malampaya. So we have to first focus doon sa power application. So once we uh, satisfy the gap for uh, the malampaya requirements, yung pong mga natural gas, yan, then kasunod na po yan. Right? So, but as you, if you're saying that we have plans or we, we have intentions, yes, meron po. But it would require, of course, a significant amount of investments, especially if you're going to put up an LNG facility uh, these facilities cost around millions of dollars or uh, as much as a billion. Yan po. Uh, yun po yung isa sa mga challenges of switching to natural gas. It's because medyo mas significant yung investment costs. But we are doing uh, as much as we can to attract investments and to show the people na yung long-term marginal cost, run, running cost niya is much cheaper siya because napaka mura yung fuel cost niya. Meron po, yes. We are promoting that. Thank you very much, sir. We have here a, a question mm. from Engineer Jonathan Brazil. Mm. Uh, let's type in in our chat box. Uh, here is the question. Is mm. there a chance to increase the natural gas in replacement to diesel and gasoline, mm. which is increasingly mm. trem increasing tremendously? Mm. I'm living in Laguna and I am seeing your CNG at Shell Binyan. Ah, yun po yung uh, natural gas uh, buses na nandiyan sa CNG. Nandiyan yung daughter station. Um, 
Yeah, I'm reading the question. Is there a chance to increase the natural gas in replacement? So very ideal po yan. Yes, of course. Um, diesel and gasoline is rising in terms of fuel cost price. Um, that's what we are trying to do here since uh, uh, we are as much as possible encouraging more investments. Yun nga po lang ang limitation. It requires a lot of significant investment. But in if you're going to ask us as government, yes, we are pushing for it. We are trying to attract as much investors as much as possible. So yung pinarinasend po kanina yung Mamlao, we have around six in the pipeline, which are investors, which are putting up LNG terminals or FSRUs. But after that, uh, we're looking na susunod naman po ma after filling up the gap in the Malampaya for power, yung ibang uses naman po. Next is yung industrial, commercial, and then we'll go to the residential po, uh, one at a time. Yeah. Uh, Meron chance, of course. Meron naman. Sige po, thank you. Salamat. Salamat po sa answer. Hmm. Another question from Mr. Engineer Cesar. Hmm. Cesar hmm. Montes Clara. If we include the infrastructure required to import natural gas, how much of an impact would it be to the price quoted earlier, percentage-wise? Uh, uh, I think this is more of an economics question, yung return on investment. Ganon. So significant po yung uh, investment na ipapasok dyan. But based on what we have computed so far, let's say for example, yung pong Ilihan, which is a natural gas power plant, it took them around 10, around 10 to 13 years para sa return on investments. So, kung I think the question is more on ROI. Eh. So, mga ganong katagal yung bawe. Uh, around 10 to 10, 10 to 13, 10 to 15 years. But of course, we whenever we put a power plants or infrastructures, we all designed them to a minimum of 25, diba? So, so after that uh, ROI, ma realize mo yung the rest ng economic life mo, you'll be makakabawi ka na doon. Thank you. Thank you po. Mm. Uh, there is another question also from Engineer Anthony mm. Cruz. Mm. For cooking in terms of kilojoules per cubic meter, mm. is LPG better than LNG? Because you need to burn a higher volume LNG than mm. LPG to achieve the same calorific value. Okay, nice question. Yan. Uh, we often get that also most of the time. Ito ang ginagawa po dyan, actually, uh, let's say for Japan, for example, nung nandun po kami, they use L, uh, actually yung natural gas form, ang ginagawa nila dyan, meron silang target na heating value. In order to achieve that target, what they do is sometimes hinahaluan siya ng konting LPG. So may konting, uh, so depende po para, para yung sa timpla. So meron pong required heating value na kilojoules per kilogram. So they measure it. Kapag medyo kulang, lalagyan mo ng konting LPG yan. yan. Uh, but I would say in the long run or the most economical and most practical, most practical pa rin po ang natural gas in terms of the question is cooking. Eh. So imagine if you're burning, cooking your food at a cost of, magkano ngayon? 1,000? If we had LNG or if we had natural gas right now, your bill ng 1,000, you'll just be paying around 300 to 400 pesos. So you can imagine the reduced cost. Yun po. Mas mura pa rin. Mas uh, technically or economically feasible pa rin ang natural gas for cooking application. I think, uh, I think yun po yung question ni Engineer Anthony Cruz. Salamat po. Salamat po. Uh, there is another question here from the uh, chat box. Don't we have exploration other in, the, in other areas in the country? Hello, Ayan. I think naghang po kanina. Opo. A question po is, yes. don't we have Hello, exploration yeah. in other areas in the country? Uh, nag, sorry po, nag, ano po kanina? Nag... Uh, Nagkaroon ng connection problem. Let me just read the question then. Okay. Uh, don't we have exploration in other areas in this country? Uh, meron po kasi kasi yung 
uh, there's a different department handling yung explorations. You have the uh, Energy Resource Development Bureau. Meron po silang service contracts na ino-offer sa mga different basins or different areas in the Philippines. So, kinokontract out po yan. So, binibidding po yan sa may mga areas na identified. So, from those identified areas na yan. Meron pong mga ano, may mga exploration po. But as I said earlier, we said uh, this uh, activities require significant amount of investments from the private sector po. Meron, meron yan. Uh -huh. Sige po, salamat naman po. Meron palang exploration. Uh, another question from Engineer Vicente Balones. Pwede po ba magamit ang LNG sa sasakyan na gumagamit ng LPG? Um, LPG? Uh, actually, ang ginagamit natin is CNG. Sa ngayon, CNG. CNG. Kung LPG... Can we retrofit an engine which is using LPG to use uh, compressed? Um, from experience, it's better na yung car mo, your, autom uh, your automobile is designed for CNG. CNG. CNG na lang. Kasi kesa mag-retrofit ka, parang mas malaki pa yung gagastusin mo. Sa pa malaki ang gastos. Tumag na lang. Uh -huh. Malaki ang gastos for that. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, sir. Meron pa isa pang question po dito si Ms. Engineer Jonathan Brasil. Okay. I am working with Floor Daniel and I've been involved in youth project in Qatar. Santos, Australia. Hopefully, we can mm. do it in the Philippines. We'll mm. do most of engineering those large projects are Filipinos. Okay. Uh, it's, it's more on the information, I think, sir. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yes, uh, I think we also have another question from engineer Stoddy oh, Kalma. Hello. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Engineer Jasol. Yeah. Sound clear? Yes, uh, okay, this uh, engineer is, yes, sir. Uh, this is um, this is Engineer Sani from Qatar. Shout okay. out from Qatar. We have a lot of uh, engineers here listening to you. And uh, very <laughs> thank you for this, um, you know, informative information. But uh, I just I'll have a one, one bit of quick question, you know, in regards to about our legislation. Now, in your just in case you are given a chance to to go to Congress, in in case you have given a chance, for example, what kind of um like um, uh, being a practitioner in this in this uh, field, what can you comment? They, can you recommend something in to uh, to mm. regarding our laws? What are what are the things that do be uh, to be changed, or do you have any something comment for the improvement, mm. or maybe perhaps or anything that you might mm. want to change the legislation, uh, whatever it can be. Maganda That's question, an engineer. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, engineer, I've been to the Senate. So well, we were given an opportunity to make a presentation with. Uh, Senator si, ano, Gatchalian. Yeah. So we were actually lobbying for the passage of the natural gas bill. So this was around maybe two to three years ago. So we were given an opportunity to make a presentation to the dear Senator to show him the economic benefits of natural gas. So nabigyan lang po ng pagkakataon. Actually, it was my bosses. That were there. Kaya lang ako yung pinapresent para. So at least we need uh, support from legislation na at least they are supporting the passage of a bill which would further strengthen yung pong natural gas industry natin. So I think we got that. At nakasalang na po yung natural gas bills. And lang, hindi ko lang alam po kung pang ilang readings na. So, if that's the question, uh, nakapunta na po tayo sa Congress or Senate yun po. So, hindi ko lang alam kung ano na yung progress nung natural gas bill. Yun po. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Salamat. Uh, 
ah what is the current status yung ah, may tanong po rito eh um yun nga, eh, hindi ko na ala i'm i'm no longer much aware kung ano na yung status ng natural gas bill that we lobbied uh, but hopefully it's, it's still in the still in the law it's part of the uh, alam ko pinapush pa nila yan eh because it's part of uh, important legislations kasama yun sa mga priorities ni Secretary Cusi for the country to be man LNG hub yan so but also of course the ball is uh, nasa Senate na po yan yan nasa kanila yung bola yan so nasa kanila po yung pacing kung kailan nila i-approve kung ano yun but we've done our part we've done our presentations we've uh, presented our cases so nasa kanila nasa na, nandoon na po sa kanila yan yan uh, Okay. Ayan, may nagsahal. Sinabi po ni Engineer Edwin, yung pong detailed economics daw po, bukas. Yung, yung akin po, patikim lang. So, konting appetizer lang po yun. So, I think wala na pong tanong. Ma'am Ibon, wala na ata. Uh, Sir Josel, uh, Albert Herr, may okay. answer ko lang, the total picture of the natural gas usage ngayon compared to other fuel, ilang percent siya sa uh, total? Uh... Total po. Kasi kung, tit- kung uh, naglalaro sa mga one-fourth, kasi t- kung titignan natin, uh, magkaiba kasi yung picture scenario ng en- ng power, magkaiba yung, uh, kung titignan may energy mix, yan. So sa power, yung natural gas is a contributor to the power power sector. So sa Luzon grid ng mga nasa mga nasa 30%, but if you look at the overall Luzon besides Mindanao, power yung sa power sector, mga na, naglalaro sa 24, 24-25%. Mga ganun po. Yes, so thank you very much to our panel of reactors, Engineer Ramiel and Engineer Albert. And of course, to our speaker, Engineer Jessel, uh, I can tell that everyone is learning with us, especially that mm-hmm. everyone is very engaged to share their ideas. Mm-hmm. No, mm-hmm. Now to award this certificate to our technical speaker, may we call on our National Vice President for Training and Education, Engineer James Bernard Itao, to do the honor. Thank you, everyone. Uh, Philip, I'll read the certificate. Philippine Society of Mechanical Engineers, Inc. Integrated Association of Mechanical Engineers awards this certificate of appreciation to Jesol M. Salvo for his commendable effort and dedication as the resource speaker in the Technical Division's Combined Symposium and Conference 2021, Eight Power and Energy Technical Conference, Fourth Energy Management Technical Conference, Sixth Environmental Engineering Technical Conference held virtually via Zoom video call app on December 1 to 2, 2021 with the theme Roadmap of Clean Energy Transition to Net Zero Emission by 2050. For the topic Natural Gas 101 and Economics given this first day of December 2021, signed by the TD Chairman Engineer Felipe Lu, Engineer Janu Internacion, Engineer Alberto Recla Jr. and our National Secretary, Engineer Feliciano Perater Jr., our National VP Technical Engineer Vicente Delgado, and our National President, Engineer Jerry D. Asuncion. Once again, thank you very much, uh, Sir Jessel, and of course to our former speaker, uh, Ma'am Laura.